Hi there, young scientists! Welcome to Science 4, where learning becomes easy once we explore. So hang on tight, for we will answer your what, why, and how questions. This is your science teacher, teacher maybe. Come and join me in our short yet exciting science adventure. For today's adventure, you will learn that an environment plays an important role in the life cycle of organisms. Young scientists, can you tell where I am? What have you observed about the surroundings? That's right! The river is polluted and full of plastic wastes. Young scientists, is a polluted river good to the life cycle of organisms? Correct! A polluted river is not good to the life cycle of organisms. Pollutants and waste materials like plastic contaminate water. These contaminants are toxic to organisms living under or near the area. These wastes reduce an organism's lifespan and their ability to reproduce. These wastes ruin the life cycle of organisms. What other situations in our environment do you think affect the life cycle of organisms? We will answer that question today, so get ready and focus yourselves on our episode because stars are coming down from heaven just for you if you do well in our activities. Please prepare your self-learning module, pen, and paper. Let the learning begin! Young scientists, before we proceed to our lesson today, let us recall our previous episode. Let's take a peek! Humans undergo different stages of development. These stages are birth, infancy, childhood, adolescence, and adulthood. Why is it important for us to study or to know the stages of human development? We need to study the stages of human development for us to know where we are and what our needs are during these different stages of development. So, in the previous episode, you have learned that humans undergo different stages of development. These stages are birth, infancy, childhood, adolescence, and adulthood. I know you want to travel to different places. So before going to our lesson today, let's travel first as part of our drill. Are you ready? I will show pictures and you will name what is shown in every picture. Let us see. What is shown in the first picture? Great! The environment for organisms shown in the picture is a forest. Let's have the next picture. What can you see? Correct! You just saw a grassland in the picture. How about the next one? That's correct! It is a mountain! Let's proceed with the next picture. You got it right! Rivers, lakes, ponds, and streams are shown in the picture. They are examples of freshwater habitats. What's in the next picture? You got it right! The picture has shown oceans and seas. Oceans and seas form the marine environment and habitat. Can you guess what the last picture is? Great! You just saw a seashore. 
A seashore is a coastal habitat which refers to the region where the land meets the sea. Great! Now, if you have identified at least four different environments where organisms live, you will receive your first star. The environment is composed of biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic factors are those things which have life, while abiotic factors are those things which have no life. The interaction between these two environmental factors affects the life cycle of organisms. Let's go to the first effect on the life cycle of organisms caused by air and sunlight. Effects of air and sunlight on the life cycle of the organisms. Air, an abiotic component, is needed by the organisms in their life cycle. Sunlight, on the other hand, is important because it is the main source of energy. Plants store the energy in the leaves and fruits. Animals eat plants. Plants serve as their food especially for the herbivores. When air is polluted and there is no enough sunlight, the life cycle of organisms is hindered or flawed. Second is the effect of water and space on the life cycle of organisms. Water is needed by all oxygen-dependent organisms that need water to support the respiration process. It is essential that a cell should have an adequate water content. Water may be consumed by organisms or may also be a habitat for them like the fresh water and marine environment. If water is scarce or polluted, it has negative effects on the life cycle of organisms. On the other hand, space refers to the land occupied by the plants and animals. Living things need space to be able to continue with the life cycle process effectively. However, if the environment is not spacious enough, it will cause the life cycle of organisms to be discontinued or to be unproductive because of overcrowding. Hence, organisms will compete for the resources with other organisms. The third environmental factor that affects the life cycle of organisms is the climate. Effects of climate on the life cycle of organisms. Climate is considered to be one of the major environmental conditions that affect the life cycle of organisms. The changes in climate that take place within the year affect the key stages of their life cycle. These include migration, mating, and blooming. Climate affects animals, especially birds and butterflies. Such changes in climate are usually not a good timing for migration, breeding, and availability of food. When seasonal and migratory animals come in a particular environment, considering it as their new habitat, growth and survival are reduced. Have you learned something, young scientists? Thank you for listening enthusiastically. For that, you got your second star. For our exercise number one, entitled Kokak, what does the frog say? Study the diagram and answer the questions. First question, in what environment do frogs belong? Correct! Frogs live in water. Second question, in what stage or stages in the life cycle of the frog is water most important? That's right! Water is important in all stages in the life cycle of a frog. Third question. In what stage in the life cycle of a frog will a frog be most affected when water is polluted? That's 
The correct answers are egg mass and tadpole. Early stages in the life cycle of organisms are important because they are still developing. You will now get your third star for answering the questions correctly. Let's take a look on the stages in the life cycle of a corn. Question number one. How does sunlight become important in the life cycle of organisms? That's right! It is important in making food. Sunlight is needed in every stage of the life cycle of a corn plant. Question number two. Sunlight is important in making food. Will a corn plant produce good quality of grains if all of its leaves are removed? Very good! A corn plant will not be able to produce good quality of grains if all leaves are removed because it will not be able to manufacture its own food or go through photosynthesis. Just like people, Animals and plants need homes, but when too many forests are cleared to plant crops and build roads, organisms struggle to survive. When too many seabeds and rivers are destroyed to gather fish, organisms scuffle to stay alive. This is an example of habitat destruction. Thus, the environment affects the life cycle of organisms. However, we humans who are called as stewards of other living creatures can do something to protect the environment from destruction so that organisms won't go extinct and homeless. Our actions make a difference. Let's protect and preserve our environment. The environment is composed of biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic factors are those things which have life. Abiotic factors are those things which have no life. The interaction between these two factors affects the development of the life cycle of an organism. These interactions happen in the environment of organisms. The life cycle of organisms is affected by environmental factors such as air, sunlight, water, space, and climate. Air is an abiotic component needed by organisms in their life cycle. Sunlight is needed by plants in order for the plants to manufacture their own food. Plants store the energy in the leaves and fruits. Animals eat plants as their source of food, especially for the herbivores. Water is needed by all oxygen-dependent organisms to support their respiration process. Water may be consumed by organisms or may also be a habitat for them like the fresh water and marine environment. Space is needed by organisms to be able to continue with the life cycle process effectively. Climate is considered to be one of the major environmental conditions that affect the life cycle of organisms. That's all for today, young scientists! Once again, this is your science teacher, Teacher Maybe. Thank you for joining me in our short yet exciting science adventure. Don't forget to follow our official DEPA TV YouTube channel and Facebook page so you can watch us anytime online. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Watch out for our next episode only here on DEPA TV.